The first type of sorting algorithm we're going to learn is called a quick sort. So if you have some random num numbers and you want to put them in order, a quick sort is a, is a great way to do that. And it's quick, thus the word quick sort. The limitation is that your the things you want to sort have to have values that could either be less than or greater than. So it's good for numbers, but like if you wanted to sort colors alphabetically, not so much. This is a GIF from Wikipedia that shows quick sorting in action. Now, obviously, we're going to simplify that, but it's kind of cool to watch. Let's see, so first it picks its pivot, then it organizes them based on that. All right. So the first thing you do is you have your, your group of numbers. You're going to pick a number that falls somewhere near the middle. That's called a pivot. So in this case, we just kind of look at the numbers. We're going to choose the number 4 as our pivot. So then what we do is compare each number to our pivot. And it's either going to be greater than that or less than that. If it's greater than, we move it to the right. If it's less than, it stays on the left. So for round 1, you can see 7, 8, 9, and 5 will be moved over to the right and 3, 2, and 1 will stay on the left. So after our first sort, this is what it looks like. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 5, 7. All right, so round two, we need new pivots. So 4 was our original, so now we're going to pick about halfway between the lower and halfway between the upper sides. So we'll use 2 as a pivot, and we'll use 7 as a pivot. So for 2, 3 needs to go on the right side because it's greater. 1 stays there. And for 7, 8 and 9 will both be moved to the right side, but 5 is less than, so it stays on the left side. So after the second round of sorting, well, we're getting close. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 7, 9, 8. So we're almost there, but we need one more pivot. So we don't need anything on the left side of our original pivot. We don't need anything on the left side of our second pivot. But we do need a new pivot here, so we're going to choose 8 and 9 is greater than 8, so it gets moved over to the right. And so using just three rounds of sorting, we have put these in numerical order. Now, for the assignment, you're going to do something very similar, except you're going to have to show me the process, so you'll be copying and pasting a lot. But there's another video that will show you how to do that.